Welcome to another episode of the, uh, Project AE86. In this episode, I'm going to completely tear down the GM rear end and prep it so I can transfer all the SR5 uh, bracketry to the uh, GM rear end. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. to remove the axles in order to get the uh, uh, brake backing plates off. Now in order to get the axles out I have to remove this small bolt right here. This will allow me to remove this pin that will allow me to have access to the C-clips on the axles. Now in order for me to remove this small bolt I have to get a 8 millimeter wrench on the uh, on that bolt and I have to remove the two large um, main bearing bolts so I can get my wrench on it. As I'm removing the uh, two main bearing bolts, uh, it's important to note that you want to keep everything that you remove in this and put it back exactly how it was because uh, everything is kind of worn and it's in this uh, spot and so if you were to rearrange things it would just mess things up so keep note of uh, placement because it's very important now that I've gotten the two main bearing bolts out I have uh, room enough to get my wrench in there to uh, get this eight millimeter bolt off in order to keep the differential from spinning I put a rag in the teeth to bind it up and uh, here I am removing the rag after I loosened the uh, little bolt. I went ahead and put the uh, main bearings uh, back in place now that the bolt is, uh, is loose because you don't need to remove the bolt all the way. Just slide the bolt back and the pin will push right out from the back side and it will slide right out easily. After you take that pin out, rotate uh, this, and you have to rotate your spider gears with it. Make sure the hole that that pin came out stays lined up. These two, that those are the two axles, and that pin goes through there, keeping the axles from being able to go to push in. So now I'm going to push the passenger side axle towards the center to have access to the C-clip. I'm going to use this little magnet to get it out, just like that. And that's it. Now that the C-clip has been removed, the axle will just slide right out like butter. Pardon my attire, but this is my designated garage clothes. Little break on so far first. Now to get these leaf spring perches off, we're gonna do three main cuts. Uh, first cut being this right here. The easy thing about this is you don't have to worry about doing any curves. They're just three straight cuts. Just be careful you don't cut into the uh, differential housing, actual housing. Okay, that's the first cut. Now we'll just spin this around and do cut number two.
finally the third and final cut. This, the remains, I'll just have to grind this off with the uh, die grind. This is a different disc here, the grinding disc. While grinding here, you want to be very careful not to go too deep and uh, damage the axle housing. kind of what it should look like nice and smooth kind of <laughs> anyways it's good enough now we just got to do that to this one and those two and uh, we'll be uh, ready to clean this up we'll strip the rest of the powder coating off so uh, it'll be easily to easily uh, weldable and then uh, start uh, we'll weld the uh, other brackets on this is a polycarbide abrasive wheel it's about a hundred dollars no I'm kidding it's actually uh, five bucks from uh, Harbor Freight so um, they're pretty cheap I like it a lot it just takes it takes it right off it takes the finish right off and uh, without gouging the the metal so and it leaves a nice smooth, um, you know, finish there. is getting there uh, got it pretty cleaned up here's another shot of it uh, with the with the back plate cleaned up I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these control arm mounts up on the jig get it ready Look at that nice and shiny axle housing. Well, because of the links, the uh, the fit was so tight between the uh, four link uh, mounts. Uh, I couldn't just fit the axle housing in there, so I had to remove the top uh, mounts and uh, fit it in that way. Put it, uh, set it in there uh, on the bottom, and uh, and I'll have to hammer the the tops in um, after uh, I get the, the the bottom set set in.
Now I'll just hammer these top mounts in, get them seated nicely. Got a nice flush fit. I had to do some massaging uh, on the curvature there, but uh, I got it got it fitting nicely. Um, because the housing is a little bit uh, bigger in diameter, um, the holes on the top didn't quite line up perfectly, um, so I just used these little screws to uh, hold the uh, mounts in place so they don't slide back. But um, the placement is fine. It'll be just fine. Uh, you know, the camera or, or the uh, arms, they swing up and down, so uh, shouldn't have any issues. Oh, this